Okay, so I've never done this before, the video and whatnot, and I don't really like doing it. But there's no other way to show this one. I've got the low noise amplifier hooked up to the spectrum analyzer and the tracking generator is on. I've got um, negative 20 dBm coming out of the tracking generator, 20 dB of attenuation, so there's negative 40 dBm going into the low noise amplifier. There should be about 20 dB of gain in the, tr in the, in the amplifier going back in. Um, I've got this screen normalized to uh, the negative 40, so it should be showing gain from the amplifier directly. Um, right now it's at 12 dB of gain from the low noise amplifier, which is not really great. It should be 20. Um, also, I've got 8 milliamps of current being consumed by the low noise amplifier. It should be about six and a half according to the data sheet. So that's not really great either. Um, so when I was playing around with it, I you know usually like to just touch things to see if they're hot as a diagnostics, and it, it's not. But I noticed when I did that that the current went down to seven and a half milliamps, and the gain just shot through the roof. So there's obviously some sort of um, capacitance to ground between you know my body and the, and the amplifier and it's improving its performance both in current draw and in gain. So I took my metal ruler, put it across the tops of the connectors and it did the same thing but better this time. So that tells me that I could either build a box around it or I can experiment with some capacitors and see if there's a way for me to improve performance by increasing capacitance to ground at some point in the circuit.